if you see me keep looking in this direction, Pete is watching me film, which is a weird one for me. I'm really excited to do this video. It is a very requested video and it is one that I've been dreaming about doing. Like, I've always been dreaming about talking about my writing. I can't wait till the book is out because that is my big dream talking about like the actual story and answering questions about the story but for now this is the next exciting step so i asked you guys to ask me on instagram questions in regards to my writing my book and i am going to answer them and hopefully give you an insight to how i got to the stage i am at and how i got published hi when writing do you find yourself basing the characters of people you know do you ever catch yourself using the wrong names really happy for you thank you um i don't but what i do do i guess i take little characteristics i know i take um certain memories that i've made so in the book that i'm currently writing i've taken a lot of memories for like I think it was summer 2016. I've taken a lot of memories in that. Um, I, and I've just put them in the book, but the characters are totally different. I never liked base characters, but I do sometimes name characters after people, but they're usually very minor characters because my characters are purely fictional, you know? Purely fictional. But yeah, I think it's normal for writers to be influenced by people and the things they happen in their life, but I never purely... Like, I would never have a character called Pete and it would be this girl called Amelia's boyfriend or someone who is exactly like Amelia in the boy... Do you know what I mean? I'd never do that. What inspired you to write? Anybody in particular? I don't know. I've just always had my head in some sort of, like, fantasy land. How I'd get to sleep at night would be to imagine, like, a story or, like, a film. And at first I thought I wanted to write films and I'd write screenplays and stuff, but I actually wanted to, like do more of the creative bit, like I didn't like the old technical side of the films and that but you know, I knew that I'd want to write a book that would one day become a film like I realised I liked the describing bit, I liked the the internal monologue which you can't do that as much with films unless it's just like a voiceover I literally don't know what inspired me I guess I was having quite a sad time um, in my life I mean, it was, when I really hit down with the writing was when I quit school and I guess I used it as an inspiration to make me feel better. But yeah, I don't know, I just always liked it. Hello, I have a question. How much does it cost you to make or for us to buy? Putting it out here, I have no control over how much it gets sold for. It doesn't cost me anything because I went through a publisher. They make money out of me making sales. Um, and then, you know, my management takes a cut out of what I get, which... I think you'd be surprised, like, it, I, I will put it up here, I'm definitely not in this for the money. <laughs> it's, for the, it's for the book, it's for the story, it's for the characters to come alive. Like, you'd be very surprised. Being an author isn't like a dollar dollar thing. It, obviously it depends how successful you are, but it's, I think you've got to be really, really successful for it to be a dollar dollar thing. It doesn't cost me anything, however, if I was to self-publish, it would cost me, I guess, because you have to pay for that, you have to pay for everything. I don't do that. Sure. Yeah. 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 If, it's if, it's not a book, it's just gonna be a printout. Yeah. Together. Yeah, don't don't do a Mark Corrigan on Peep Show. If a publisher goes to you and says, You have to pay us this amount, they're probably there's something dodgy going on there. Publishers should not charge you. They make money out of your sales. Um they take a percentage out of your sales, you take a percentage they take a much higher percentage than you but then they pay for everything the printing the press the covers the design they pay for everything i don't know publishing is actually a lot more complicated than you think even when i'm in meetings i'm like what is this but yeah so for example my book is 12.99 and i assure you i do not get 12.99 every time someone buys my books i really not even close but I, like I said, I'm not in it for the money at all, so. Do you have to have a GCSE or qualification? Do you have to have a GCSE or qualification in writing or English to write a book and get it published? You can probably tell by this, you do not. Um, I think it's a very big common misconception that you need to have a qualification. I guess it depends. It depends on what you're writing, especially if you're writing a non-fiction novel. Um, then I guess it's very different and it depends what sort of writing you're doing. Mine, my style of writing definitely focuses more on the creativity side and the story side. Anyone that knows me knows I don't have the best grammar, I don't have the best spelling. But a really, really, really nice thing um, that my editor told me 
when I first got published, she's not my editor anymore because she, she eventually moved to another company. Yeah, I, I said I've always been worried that my writing isn't good enough and she because I'm not the most smartest person and I don't have very good grammar and I'm a little bit dyslexic. And she said, no, because you can teach people. You can teach people. Dyslexic. A little bit, yeah. Hey. Did you not know that? No, because you've never told me yet. I used to go to spelling classes at school and everything. I think she said something along the lines of you can teach someone how to write, but you can't teach someone how to write a story, like how to create a story. Like you can't teach someone to be a storyteller. And that's what I like to think I am. I like to think I'm more of a storyteller than a writer. Do you have a particular favorite character that you've written or one that you connect with the most? I wanna say Zoe, and you don't know much about Zoe, but she's amazing. Um, Zoe's just great. I love Zoe to pieces. And I also love the, main the other main character, Tristan. It feels like I know them. It feels like I know them, it's really weird. Uh, I would love to be friends with Zoe. I can't say much more else, but how many publishers did you approach before you got your book picked up by one of them? So, I don't know if you know, it's not common practice to get into contact with publishers. You get into contact with um, literary agents. And if you know by my video, I got a lot of declines. And this wasn't all on this book, this has been on all three of the novels I've written. Then my I started going through my YouTube management and I was like, really, really want to get published and that was with my second book and they tried, but I couldn't. And then third book tried again and basically there was a lot of crying, as you know, <laughs> through the video. So it's been a long, long process. It didn't come easy. Um, but that's always nice because you appreciate it a bit more. What age range is your book aimed at? This is an interesting one because I always thought it was young adult. Always, always, always thought it was young adult. And fun fact, the characters were a lot younger than they actually are now. It got aged up for editing and when I got my book deal and stuff. My publishers think it's a woman's fiction, so adult. I definitely think it's suitable for younger readers as well. It depends what age and it, there are mature themes. Um, so I guess it just depends your sensitivity and how old you are and stuff. Hi Amelia, since I celebrated my 21st birthday today, I was able to pre-order your book. So excited to read it. I pre-ordered it from Denmark. That's amazing. Um, thank you. Also, pre-ordering is really important. Um, it's like shaping the future of my book. It's like telling the bookstores, like, you might like this book. You might want to sell this book. It's really, really important. So, please, please pre-order it. And if it's from somewhere, like, exotic, please tell me. Because I didn't know. I don't know where like it can be sold and not sold. I know it can't be in the US and Canada, I do believe, and I'm really sorry about that, but there, I think there might be potential that something could change in the future. But yeah, please let me know, or if it's in England, because I'm trying to make a name that I personally thank people who pre-order my book um, while, I, like, while it's just chilling there doing its thing before it's published, because it's just nice and it's a commitment, I guess, and it, it makes me happy because I think, geez, some, like, you're actually gonna read it. That's the scary bit, actually reading it. God, it's one thing pre-ordering it. Oh, I hope people like it. <laughs> I would really like to know how long it took you to write your book. Uh, this one was really quick. I would say between six months and a year. However, I'm still editing it, and I've got, I've been editing it for months. I'm still, I'm on my final edit at the moment. And then it goes to the copywriter, and then, I checked that. So it's a very long process, but writing, it took me like six months. However, this third book I've been on, I've been at it for like a year and a half now and I'm only 30,000 words in. Um, so it just depends. I also think I have had a lot of distractions though with this book and my motivation was struggling at some points, but yeah, sometimes when I start, I can't stop, but it's trying to, takes me a while to get into that mood where I just can't stop. But once I'm in it, phew, like, even now, I'm thinking of my third book, and I'm, like, itching to write it. What is your favourite part in the book, and why? I really can't tell you that, because the book is not out yet. <laughs> but, um, I will definitely do one of these things, sort of, questions, um, when the book is out, and you guys have read it, and I will let people know there are spoilers in it, but I'm, I can't do that. <laughs> not yet. I can't wait till I can, though. Who did you tell when you first got published? I think I told Pete. I think it was you. Because I was with Grace. So Grace obviously knew because she was on 
like she listened when I was on the phone. And then I think I called you. I think I texted yeah, you did, my mum. I, I was at site and I was like, woo, girlfriend got published. Mm. Yeah, I think I told Pete. I texted my mum because she was out. I knew she was driving, but she didn't get it until I came home. So I was all like, ah! And she was like, oh. I was like, I got published. Um, and then I called my nan, I called my gran, and there was just a lot of crying. It was great. I did not cry. You didn't cry. I'm not a crier. I've seen you cry. Do you think you ever would have lost hope? Yes, I nearly so many times, but I think I'm a very stubborn person, and I think because I didn't, I kind of almost wanted to prove to myself that because I quit college and I went through quite a lonely time, I wanted to prove to myself, like, well, you can make good out of it. And I wanted to prove to everybody that I'd always be like, oh, I'm writing, that I could actually do it. How did you choose which book to submit to your publisher? Um, I was just, my other two weren't getting published, so I finished my third one and I was just like, let's see if this one will. It was literally, but I don't, like, think that my other two would never get published. I would love them to get published one day, but maybe I have to more establish myself as an author or maybe I need to change them a bit. I've learned a lot through this book and the editing process. I've learned a lot as an author, I think, and my writing skills, so who knows for the future. Okay, I think I'm gonna end there. I have a lot more questions, but this is kind of the beginning. Hopefully, when you guys know more a bit about my book, like if you know about the cover or if you know anything else, I can give you more information, um, get a bit more nitty gritty, but this is gonna be a thing. So leave comments down below and I might answer a few of them if I haven't answered them already, but if I don't, it will probably be because I, um, I'm gonna do another video. I'm just gonna do so many book videos, but it's gonna be like on a separate playlist. So it won't be too book, book, book if you're not interested in it. And also we are still the Manable Sisters. But on that note, um, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your amazing encouragement. Like, continuing support and please, please, please let me know if you pre-ordered it. If you haven't, the link is down below. Also, there is some news coming along with my book that involves you guys. Not going to say too much about it, but keep your ears and eyes open. And yeah, so see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.